Good morning, PW. I'm Emily Carpe. And I'm Adam Brock. And we're here with your iBlock News. The Continental, PW's literary magazine, is still accepting submissions of poetry, artwork, photography, or short stories. Drop off submissions in the folder outside of room 30 or email them to mcanning at colonialsd.org. The deadline for submissions is January 18th. Do not miss this chance to have some of your original work published. In college news, the Marine Corps uh, the U.S. Marine Corps representative will be visiting Plymouth White March High School on Monday, November 19th at 10.30. Students interested in the Marine Corps may sign up for a pass in the College Counseling Office. On November 20th at 12 o'clock, the United States Naval Academy located in Annapolis, Maryland, will be visiting Plymouth White Marsh to see any 9th, 10th, or 11th grade students wishing to learn more about the United States Naval Academy and its application process. The representative for visiting will be a current Naval Academy student. Any student interested may obtain a pass from the college counseling office. Nationally known bass player Jeff Pedrez will visit PW on Monday, November 19th, to give a free jazz improv clinic from 2.45 to 4 o'clock p.m. in the band room. Any interested musicians are invited to attend, even if you have not previously participated in the band music program. Bring your instruments. Students interested in participating in the jazz band and lab band should attend an informational meeting on Monday, November 19th from 2.30 to 2.45 p.m. in room 84. Attention DECA members, there will be a mandatory DECA meeting this Friday, November 16th in Cafe West during iBlock. In addition, candy money for the fundraiser is also due by Friday. See Mrs. Carragher or Mr. Blair to turn in your money. And now for sports. Any freshman girl interested in playing basketball this year, stop by and sign up with Coach Doherty in room 43 if you haven't already done so. Practice starts Friday, November 16th after school. Attention all 9th grade through 12th grade graders interested in playing basketball this spring. There will be a Plymouth White Marsh baseball information meeting on Monday, November 19th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. All 9th through 12th graders thinking about trying out for the Colonials baseball this year should plan to attend this meeting with a parent to learn more about the high school baseball pro program for the upcoming season. Any questions can be directed to Mr. Monero. And now for a message from Father of the Bride before we head over to International News with Clayton Allen. a lot smaller but um, I think there's a lot of talent and it's really exciting working with a smaller cast. We know each other a little bit better. So, but we're working well together and I think it's going to be a great show. Good morning, PW. I'm Clay and Allen here with your national news. Texas hits the headlines today as flashbacks of the 1840s are here. An electronic petition is passing around in Texas on a possible secession from the United States. As of Tuesday evening, over 81,000 signatures have been collected for a peaceful withdrawal from the U.S. Only 25,000 signatures are needed for an official response from the Obama administration. According to Danielle Miller, president of the Texas National Movement, this cake has been baking for a long time. It's the Obama administration that lit the candle. 
to believe the re-election of Barack Obama is to be the ignition of the attempting secession. Speculation of Texas Governor Rick Perry for being in favor of the secession is spreading fast. Three years ago, Governor Perry commented, one of the big issues on coming back to the Union in 1845 was the ability to leave the Union at any time. As this story is breaking news in progress, tune in on Friday for more details. That's all for your national news. I'm Clayton Allen. Now we'll head over to a PSA on French Week and then weather. My name's Gary, everyone's favorite student abroad, here in the beautiful countryside of France. Paris, actually, where I'm about to enjoy my first Parisian breakfast. Hmm, what do we have here? Some meat, a piece of bread, some fruit, a clove of garlic, the most important cornerstone to any French diet. And what's this? A croissant? Hmm, delectable. I can't wait to taste it. Mmm, delicioso. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Hi there, Gary here again. This time having lunch at a roadside table in actually the middle of the street of Paris, France. What a wonderful lunch it is. The birds are singing, the sun is shining, there are young passers-by passing by. Wow, what a chillaxed life it is here in Paris, France. Oh, thank God I just got lunch. Maybe I have a moment to eat this. Dude, what are you doing? We have to go. But I'm hungry. Hi America, Gary again, reporting back to you at my mealtime report in. I'm sitting here at my dinner table now in a nice Parisian cafe where no one else is except for me. <laughs> Everyone seems to be having dinner at nine o'clock, which is very late by American standards, but if that's the norm here, I'm all for it. I've also been waiting for quite a while. I guess that's also a custom, to be patient and wait for your food, much different from the hustle and bustle of American culture I can't wait until my food gets here. It smells pretty good in this restaurant that is empty. <laughs> oh my God, what a stressful American day doing American things and being American. Thank God I can take solace in the television. Dinner. <sighs> Fine. Good morning, PW. I'm Emily with your iBlock Weather. We'll first take a look at your surface map. The cold, the cold front from the other day has been pushed out to the east coast, which brought us our rain the other day. There's a high pressure system forming over the Ohio River Valley, which is bringing in a cold northwest flow. We'll now take a look at our future cast. There is a storm currently building over Florida and a high pressure system in the north, which will be in control all week. Now let's take a look at our seven day forecast. Today's high is 49 with a low of 32 with sunny conditions. Tomorrow's high is 50 degrees with a low of 34 with sunny skies. Expect sunny weather on Friday with a high of 51 and a low of 34. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 50 degrees and a low of 36. Sunday will be partly cloudy as well with a high of 50 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. We might expect showers on Monday with a high of 47 and a low of 39. Tuesday there is also a chance of showers with a high of 51 and a low of 40. That's all for your weather today. I'm Emily. Have a great day, PW. And that's all for your iBot News. I'm Adam Brock. And I'm Emily Carpe. Have a great day, PW.